My name is Jacob Zerzala. I'm 21 years old and I'm a national, national track and field athlete. Between like, practicing and doing different, like, different, going to different events and whatnot, it's just, just, we're athletes. We're just, we do, we live and breathe running and jumping. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm a triple jump. Well, I was always, I was always involved with sports. The biggest biggest sport I was involved with growing up was basketball and football. Those were the ones that were pretty much my foundation in, in sports. I started, I got involved in track and field when I was at, in my grade 12 year in high school. A teacher just, just said to me, you want to try track? I could see that, that you could dunk with ease and you could jump real high. After going to one of my first leagues, I ended up beating a lot of guys that have been training for a number of years. So I said, okay, I'll take it further. I went a little bit further with it and um, I joined the club team. And that was to work in the summertime. And two months after going to my first couple of meets with that, I ended up qualifying for the 2008 Olympic trials. And that was that was what pretty much opened up my eyes and said, you know what, if I could get that far in, in three months of training, how much, how much further can I take it in four years? So um, I set my mind that I wanted to try to make the, the 2012 Olympics. And that's what I'm training for right now. I think living here is it's been one of the best and worst things that ever happened to my life. I would say probably the best because you can't you can't grow up in a place like this. Over here it's you learn a lot from when you're young, especially me. I was growing up with just my mom until I was seven years old and then having a transition to live growing up with just my dad. Um it was it was hard but you can't really you have to use that to your advantage. You have to try to try to push through that. And I think the harder the situation it is, and once you get through that, the better the person a person could become. Um, I'd probably say the worst. It's probably the worst just because it's so easy to fall into a lot of things. Like I know when I was growing up, just with like drugs and alcohol and different things like that, it was so it's so easy for to get a get a hand of those and, and start using them and doing stuff with them, but. I guess when you get older and you start seeing that regular people don't do that all the time or they're not doing that on an everyday basis and that's not the base base and, and, and heart of their life, then you realize that that's that's not the way you wanna take your take yourself. You wanna really just you wanna be be like not like everybody else, but you wanna you wanna be who you wanna be. I I'm doing my track and field thing and I've I could say that I've I've come I've come from the bad and I've changed myself to to doing some good things. And um, working, I work over at the community center now. I've been there for four years, and just being able to show the kids that being that role model, showing them that look, I've I've been through that bad and I've 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 gone through what you guys are going through. But maybe it's not all about staying on the street or staying out here and doing doing things that you should really shouldn't be doing. Maybe it's about taking what you really want to be doing with your life and, and trying to take charge with it. Really, really push yourself to 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 be the best you can. Be at it. The youth here. I think the media they're doing they're doing a a, a worse job in not reporting stories that are that are good coming out of the community. Like um, just just so it's been a week now that um. A group that I worked with with um, Toronto Community Housing, they're called the Animators. We won a we won a award with um, I think it's like the the National Urban. I'm not too sure exactly what the what the what it was, but it's a national award on pretty much the work that we've done in helping the community. And I haven't seen any report or any media media coverage of anything like that. So it's like. You're gonna report all the bad things, but when something good happens, you just throw it to the side. I think that's that's probably the the worst thing the media could do is that they just demoralize 
everybody that lives in the community, even if they're doing good or bad. I think in, in the way that I look at it, it, it's not the same potential, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna be the same stuff. It's gonna be hard because we're going through that whole revitalization process right now. And having that revitalization going on, it's like, a lot of people, they don't have that at home. Especially being able to come back here and live the same way that they live. But on the other hand, you could look at it and say, yeah, there is hope because we're gonna have new everything. We're gonna have new schools from public, Catholic, from elementary to middle and high schools. We're gonna have new stores all over the place. We're gonna have new parks, new basketball courts, new soccer fields, hopefully a new track. Cause that's that's what I'm pushing for. Hopefully they get a get a get a rubber track out here. But it just depends on the way you look at it. Like there's it's gonna have its pros and its cons, but at the end of the day, it's it's gonna happen. I want to say to those people, if you like something, you really you really think you could go somewhere with it, and if that's what you love, then just try to go all the way to the end with it because there's there's really no harmony. There can only good things can really happen for you.